Hammer time. Go with the flow. All right, here it comes. We're talking about 80s crime thriller and racial prejudice. We're going to start uh, first with what, uh, a most violent year. Yes, this is uh, from J.C. Chander, wonderful director, and he uh, directs Oscar Isaac. 1981 is the uh, time period in New York, and uh, he is a fuel supplier trying to, uh, you know, adhere to his own moral compass amid all this corruption, violence, and decay that is threatening his family business. I understand you and your men have a job to do here, but we're in the middle of a 10-year-old's birthday party. And I'm sorry, but we are coming in. That's not a problem. We have nothing to hide from you. My husband is a good man. Don't mistake his honesty for weakness. He deserves respect. This was very disrespectful. I run a fair oh, and clean Oh, don't mess with the Chastain. You know, it's been a while since we've seen Jessica uh, Chastain sizzle yeah. on the silver screen. Uh, what, what stood out in this movie? They did. They are so good together. The chemistry is palpable. Oscar Isaac, he just oozes such cool as this character. I love his jacket, by the way, as well. And the way they play off each other as husband and wife, dynamite. Jessica Chastain, she's so wonderful. And the great David Oyelowo, who uh, should have been nominated for an Oscar in Selma, he's good in this movie as this sort of uh, FBI uh, you know, investigator trying to build a case around them because they, they think that there's some no good. They think that there's some something nefarious going on with the family business, but this was actually taken from headlines in 1981 in New York, which was traditionally uh, historically a very violent year for violent crimes, uh, organized crime. So it, it goes off that sort of um, you know story, but it's not full of action like you would think. So it doesn't have that sort of Goodfellas uh, sort of uh, appeal to it. What I will say though, it's impeccably uh, shot and, and framed. The production design is great as well, and the acting and the script all excellent. So. Um, this is a sort of slow building crime drama for adults, but don't expect a lot of action in this one, despite what the trailers show you. You think this one got snubbed for Oscar recognition? I think so, yeah. It, it was sort of a late addition. A lot of people didn't have a chance to see it before the Oscars, but uh, it's definitely worthy of awards praise uh, for numerous things, including writing and acting. And J.C. Chander is one of these great emerging directors. He did Margin Call and All is Lost with Robert Redford. There are some familiar elements to this one, and the slow burn may turn some people off, but uh, I thought it had just enough originality to work. How many hammers? Four out of five for a most violent Ooh. year. All right, good way to get it started. Uh, we yeah. had Empo uh, Quahu on the show yesterday. Kevin Costner's new one, Black or White, all about forward thinking when it comes to racial prejudice. Yeah, and a very personal film for Costner. He financed uh, a lot of it. He's a grieving widower who's drawn into this custody battle over his granddaughter, who he helped raise his entire life. She's played amazingly by Jillian Estelle, who I've never heard of, but she is a total up-and-comer. And Costner just turns out this great role. He's struggling with some alcohol problems in the movie. He does that very well. The film does have a real glossy treatment to it, but it's grounded by some compelling performances from Costner and Estelle, as well as Octavia Spencer, Anthony Mackie, and comedian Bill Burr. You know, the thing that I really like about this movie is the uh, the, the current concerns when it comes to yeah. racial prejudice. You talk about slow burn on that first movie. That's what I felt. The pace was really slow, but there's one scene at the end with Kevin Costner in a commentary on what is going on and how you define what it means to be uh, racist. I thought that was uh, very powerful. Overall, I think this is a good movie, and it's got a great cast. It does, yeah. It tackles some very complex themes and kind of uh, juxtaposes them at times. Simple script, but effective at times, like the courtroom scene that you're talking about. Uh, so it did take some risks. It's got some flaws as well, but I think overall I can re recommend it because it's thoroughly well acted. How many hours? Three out of five. Three out of five. Great commentary from that movie. Nice one.